Hello. Long time no talk. This is my first video, like sit down video in a very long time. Maybe a year or almost, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I've been doing a lot of shorts recently and so I thought I'd try something different because I have a huge, huge haul that I'm very excited about that's been compiling over a couple of months and I'm very excited to show you and yeah, I'll just get right into it. Okay, I will start with like the most like designer items and work my way like down to just stuff that I thought was really cute and that I liked. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing I got um, was at a estate sale and I really am excited about it because I don't know. Okay, so let me explain. So this is like a Burberry, um, a vintage Burberry keychain that's like never been used. Um, and there was a pair of them, um, but I only got the one. Um, and I thought, so I thought that it was gonna be like more like feminine or something, but it's kind of masculine. And by the way, I know it says Burberry's with like an S at the end. And that means that it was, this is probably from like the 80s because I think the mid 90s or the early 90s, Burberry is turned to Burberry without the S. Um, so this keychain is probably like, I don't know, I'm bad at math, but like 30, 40 years old, something like that, 30 years old. Um, and in perfect condition, like really good quality. And I think I got it for $7 or maybe like $12 or something like that. But I was going to use it for myself, but it's a little masculine. So I did just inherit, or I my dad recently passed away. Um, and I got all of his uh, watches. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll save those watches and maybe this for like one day when I'm dating or married or something. I feel like, I don't know, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, but I think it would be a good present to someone. And now I have all these like guy clothes and watches that I have no use for. So maybe I'll just save them. Or do you think I should use it? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Um, and then the next thing, oh, I, okay, when, the next thing I'm really excited about. The next two things I have, my 13 year old self would like die, okay? Just freaking flat out die. Look, okay, this Juicy Couture Velour jacket. I wanted one of these so badly, especially after I saw Mean Girls and my mom had them. Ugh, but I could never afford it as a kid. And now I can. I'm so glad it's like, it's like come back. Um, it came back, it had a moment, it's gone away, but I'm hoping this summer it's gonna like come back again. Um, because I got this at Goodwill for like $6. I'm just really excited about this and it fits perfectly. It fits like, it's really tight. It's like, you wear like a little cami underneath. It's, it's a look, it's very cute. I'm very excited. Okay. Um, and then another thing, oh my gosh, when I was in high school, I wanted this so bad. Like I remember I would like read Teen Vogue like all the time. Okay, this, oh, there it is. Um, and it's like the slim fit, so it's like really tight. It's super cute. Um, it fits perfectly. Um, it's gonna be so cute with like, I, I thrifted um, some Hudson jeans, like some like low rise, um, flare Hudson white jeans. It's gonna look cute. It's gonna look cute. The muffin top galore, but it's gonna be cute. Um, I'm so excited about that. But as far as polo, if you saw when I was thrifting this, um, if you go to my shorts, it should be like, I think like my preppy core thrift with me or something like that. Um, maybe I'll link it below, but, um, yeah, I used to go to this polo store in Greenwich, Connecticut when I lived in Connecticut for a short period of time. Um, and there's, there's this 
place called the Avenue and it's like where all the major, major rich people shop and there's a polo store and I would just go in there and like meander and window shop because everything was like a hundred bucks. Like all of the polos started at a hundred dollars. And I, I mean, I remember once I took my mom in and she was like, yeah, this is nice. You're not getting anything. Um, and now I have one and I have a pink one, one, one that, one that I always wanted. And, um, I used to watch Teen Vogue and did a bird shit on my window. <sighs> anyway, when I used to watch Teen Vogue, um, I mean, read Teen Vogue, there was this girl. I remember she looked like she was wearing a, like one of the big pony polos. And I just remember thinking, wow, that's class. Did a bird shit on my window? Okay, the next thing. Oh, this is good too. This is good, this is good. This one's good, okay. So this, okay, I had like, I was, I was recently thrifting and I found this vintage Bottega Veneta bag and I don't even know why because when I was, this is like a classic case of I bought it for the brand, okay? Like 100%, I, I've, I'm ashamed, but I did do it. So, okay, I was like looking through the purse rack and I didn't see anything. And then something told me to look in this purse. And sometimes when I it tell like when I get this like inner voice, it's because there's money inside. And that was not the case with this, but there was something even better inside. It's vintage Bottega Veneta. Okay, it's hard to see, but there you go. And I got it for $4.99. And okay, so this, like, okay, originally it wasn't my style, but sit with it. Think of this with like one of my like equestrian blazers that I've thrifted, riding boots, and like a jean, but, like me, like a crisp jean in the riding boot. And it's gonna be a look. It's gonna like a button down white shirt. It's gonna be a very equestrian look got plans don't worry okay and then some other things that another bag that I really was excited oh 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 okay I can't remember if I showed you guys this but probably not because I haven't made a video in a long long time but um I've worn these a few times already um these are free people flare very high-waisted jeans and I got them like let's look like the crotch starts here like look how high waisted that is it's awesome Oop. like really flare free people I wish I could find my Hudson jeans and I could show you guys those but I packed them away because they're white um and it's not exactly summer yet but I got these for like maybe six dollars six dollars and originally they're like what a hundred dollars for free people jeans fit perfectly i mean they really they make my leg because the, of the flare they make my leg look so small which i love because my thighs are my one of my many problem areas okay and then the next thing my cat was sitting on it so it's got cat hair all over it i'm so sorry i wish i were more professional my next thing is this Everlane sweater that um, if you saw my cashmere short thrift with me, go watch that. I can also link that for you. This is like fits me perfectly. Everlane, 100% cashmere, got it for like $6. And I actually found this in the men's section. So I always look in the men's section because the people putting things away a lot of the times they have no idea what's what and this is definitely i don't think this is a men's i mean even so it fits me like a glove like the problem with with this though is um it looks like someone there was a hole in it and someone mended it which is fine i have no issues with it 
but then there's another hole with it. So I'm starting to see why someone gave this away and I can fix this like no problem. It's not a problem, but especially when I don't even know the original price is like insane. But the thing with this is I have a couple of cashmere that's like retails way cheaper than Everlane and they're way more comfortable. This is maybe the scratchiest sweater I own. The only other scratchy sweater I have that's like maybe worse than this is like um, I have a vintage Burberry sweater that I never wear because it's so scratchy. Like I have to have like a thick shirt underneath and it doesn't even get that cold here. So I don't know. So I have, so when I do wear this, I have to wear like a shirt underneath, which is fine, but it hasn't been that cold lately and it's becoming spring. So I've only worn this like a few times. Um, so that's, I don't know, that's annoying, but I don't, I'm like really kind of shocked because Everlane is like such a big deal and I was so excited about it, but I'm like, why is it so scratchy? It's supposed to be like grade A cashmere, but I don't know. It's weird to me. Let me know if you have Everlane cashmere and I don't know, I've, lo I've watched so many, um, Everlane cashmere reviews on YouTube and none of them seem to have that problem. Maybe that one's defective. I don't really know. Anyway, I thrifted this. Uh, next is this uh, Joy silk top that I actually bought to resell, but it's really not selling like I thought it would. Usually Joy silk tops, like they, they sell like within a day for crazy like I think I sold one for like 40 or something dollars once like in this one no one's interested in it so that's odd to me because it's, I think it's really cute and I would keep it myself but it's just not my size if you like it um I will thrift my Poshmark down below but yeah I mean it's cute it's in perfect condition joy it retails for very expensive which rightly so they are really good quality um yeah but okay the next thing so i'm done with all the designer pretty much um the next thing is just something i got for myself because i like to lounge clearly like to lounge around all the time by the way if you see like okay there's my cat if you see um like bits of like things on the floor it's the yoga mat my cat just destroyed. And it's really hard to get all of the pieces. So I'm doing my best. Um, the next thing I got, oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this. Okay. I actually found this, first of all, it fits so well. It's like kind of, it's tight but loose at the same time. And it's just like a, it's a plain, plain Jane t-shirt, but it is kind of like nautical because it's got the Nantucket and it's blue and white. And I'm thinking I can wear like white shorts. Um, and I'm thinking a boardwalk. I'm thinking not even Nantucket. I'm thinking like New England, Hamptons, Oh, oh, okay. So, okay. Imagine I'm just like at the beach wearing my shirt and how obnoxious would it be if I wore my Southampton shirt hat with this? That would be annoying and they're not even the same color blue. But my other, okay, I have a Yale hat that is the same color blue. It's like tan and blue. Obnoxious, extremely obnoxious. But it's like a cute like I really didn't try it all, but I do look like I could go get like a lobster roll on the boardwalk in New England, in New York, on the beach, in Long Island. I don't know. It's a look. Another thing that I'm really excited about. Look, don't judge me because I know it's obnoxious. I know it's, ex I know it's obnoxious, but sometimes I like to look obnoxious, but like effortless. Anyway, okay, so here is a theory dress, 100% linen. It's got pockets. Um, I think it's gonna look really cute with like those little leather 
eight sandals that everyone's wearing, but mine are, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to thrift those real bad. So I'm manifesting it. So this is really cute. I think it's just gonna, it's got like a slit in the front. It's so lightweight, like you can almost see through it. It's gonna be so nice for a hot day and like a maybe a cinched belt. I don't know. Oh, but speaking of hot day, okay, I thrifted these a while back for $5.99 never worn these are like in perfect condition um and i only have like one or two other espadrilles this height so i'll be able to like have more options and i love this and this is gonna look i think pretty good or maybe maybe not but look okay okay i thrifted this zara like dress that I just love. I just love the end of it because look, it's like romantic lace and it's a it's a tube top and it comes down to about like my calves and it's going to be so cute. It's midi length, perfectly my size and I just don't even know. Ugh, it's going to look great for like a picnic or just like I have ideas okay this and this is gonna look great on like the coast of Greece right shopping on those old streets I don't even I've never been to Europe but one day I will go to Europe and that's what I will bring on the same note okay this is giving me sex in the city remember when they went to the Hamptons do you watch sex in the city I hope so Remember, not the new, not the new, but okay. When they went to the Hamptons and Carrie wore that like scarf halter top, she like tied the scarf around her chest and made it a shirt. This is so that, but it's from Express. It's actually just like a top that's made to look like a scarf and it has this beautiful chain. It's an amazing condition. I'm like shocked someone doesn't want this anymore, but I'm so happy I get to keep it. And I'm very excited. I have a lot of stuff for summer, but it is like 70 degrees here now. So, so it's like starts at 70, then at the day ends at like 30. So it's all over the place. And then also the next thing I have is this fringe bag that I'm so obsessed with because it's gonna look great with the flare, right? The flare jeans. Okay, think of the flare jeans, the free people jeans I just showed you, a rock shirt, a leather jacket, and this. Now, imagine me at like a festival with this bag. It's really heavy. It's 100% suede. I know a lot of people are very against suede, and I totally get that. I try to thrift it, not buy new. Oh, I forgot the coat. Let me show you. Okay. But now think of that with these boots. These boots, okay, the leather is amazing. Like, and it's a YKK zipper, which is a really good quality zipper. It's, you know, it's a little bit used, but honestly, it's so comfy inside the only thing is the toes are narrow so I'm like stretching them out but they're like beautiful the most beautiful boots ever it's like the craftsmanship when I saw these at Goodwill I just like was drawn to them because I could just tell that this is really well made what brand I don't even know the brand I don't think it's a known brand or anything but the the craftsmanship on these boots I'm so obsessed with like really well-made boots because I've had, I used to have these um, Timberland boots that were like riding boots and I got them in 2010 and they lasted me until like 
2018. They lasted me so long. I walked all over New York with them many, many times. They were so comfortable on my feet. Like they lasted forever. Every season I would just polish them and rewear them. They were, I don't think I've ever had anything so well made in my life. And so I'm always on the hunt for something as good. And I don't know if these will be as good because that, that those are like some some tough shoes to fill, but no pun intended. And then the next one, okay, I love this one. Just one second. Okay, I bought these on Poshmark. They are so cute, like never worn. I've only worn them like once or twice because they really do hurt. And I'm usually fine with walking in heels, but that's why I don't love buying shoes on Poshmark because you really can't return them and you don't know if they're gonna hurt or not. So the, sh the leather is good, the leather is good. It, are they the best made shoes ever? No, but the leather is good. I'm the, let's see. I can still see some glue though, which you know, when you look at the pictures online on the listing, they don't always show you that, but it is really cute. It's a look. I wore these with the flare jeans, these in a fur coat. I felt big pimpin'. I looked cute. I felt cute. My cat is so unbothered. Okay, look. Okay, this is a Calvin Klein jean. Puffer coat. And I love this. It's so warm. It can get too warm that it, like, look at this. I only have one other leather, um, one other winter coat that's this warm and it's huge. Like it's a giant puffer coat that like goes down to my like knees. And when it, the weather doesn't call for that, this is seven, this was $7, $7. Seven this was also in my preppy thrift with me vlog. This is so soft and it's 100% real down. Like I said, when I buy down or leather, I try to get second hand. So I'm not contributing to harm, but it's very warm. And I got this because it, you don't, you don't have to like Meghan Markle, but you cannot just, you cannot deny her outfit, right? Okay, her outfits are great. And I got this because she has a very similar coat. And I feel like the Duchess. I feel like the Duchess, but like walking the dog or running errands, going to Whole Foods, picking up some flowers, but like I'm also warm and chic, you know? I gotta stop, I'm getting on my own nerves, but like I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I only got to wear this for like a couple of weeks before it got um, warm, but oh, once it get cold, once it gets cold again, I'm coming back for you, baby. Ah, I love it. Okay. Um, okay. I love clothes. I know it's weird and I don't want to be like materialistic or anything, but I just love clothes. I've always loved clothes since I was like four and raiding my grandma's closet. Oh, I just love it. It just like, it's like it, you can, it's just like possibilities. You know what I mean? It's like there's things you can wear things to and places you can go. And it's like an outfit makes you feel like you can have possibilities. I don't know. I'm gonna stop because someone's gonna commit me if I keep talking. Okay, another one that, okay, this is the last one, but this is a Banana Republic um, top that was also in a Thrift With Me video. It's cashmere, uh, wool, angora. So yeah, um, Super comfy. The problem is it's very see-through. You need to wear a cami underneath, which I was not expecting. 
and I thought that this was gonna be like a baby doll like not like a cinched at the waist but like a baby doll like cinched right under the boobs that would like make the girls look real good um that's not the case but even so I like that I have a, a white sweater and I mean it it's cute it's functional um it's so funny I never had cashmere before I started thrifting and now I have too much like I even have some that I can't even show you right now because there's this video would be a thousand years long um okay that was an exaggeration it would be like an hour long for sure um and then I did thrift this a long time ago um but I haven't been able to wear it but it's getting warmer um so this is a Luciano Barbera I've never heard of the brand oh my cat sat on this <sighs> okay um Anyway, so it's a hundred, it's cotton it's in spandex and lycra. Okay, it's just like a, imagine it's not covered in cat hair. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be cute. Imagine this and this, a red lip, cute. But I don't know, this is cotton that's, I have a white button down I could wear with it a white button down a red lip it's got like a big slit which I love uh, yeah. it's cute it's gonna be cute for like a night like a, a dinner date a dinner date oh it would have been cute on Valentine's Day my cat was my Valentine's and that's okay and okay so that's it for today um <laughs> that's it for today sorry that this is not a bit more professional um i don't know i've sometimes i like get nervous to like actually talk in front of the camera but i don't know the clothes make me bold i just love them so much okay anyway uh subscribe for more videos like this and i make lots of shorts follow me on instagram i always post when i go thrifting on there and yeah okay bye did you help mama film frankie